Hey guys, Jim here from Drink a Beer and Play a Game with another game for Yokoi Kids. So for those of you who don't know, Yokoi Kids is a Game Boy of the Month Club where they spotlight a game from the classic Game Boy library, highlight it, and people put in all kinds of submissions, whether it's music remixes, or they make pins, or do written reviews, or memories, or what I'm about to do. Uh, I'm going to do another long play. Uh, so to this month's game, it is May, and I'm actually doing a game on time, which is rare. And this month's game is Solar Striker. So, Solar Striker. Came out in 1990, was developed by Nintendo R&D 1, and published by Nintendo. Early title for the Game Boy. Um, one of only two shooters that I have for the system. So, one thing I like about Yokoi Kids is I get to go back and play through the Game Boy games, because I kind of missed out on it as a kid. And, funny enough, I also missed out on shooters a lot as a kid. I didn't get into them until about two years ago. So it's cool to have games like this that I can really fully jump into and more, you know, learning of a system. So early game, cheap enough. Uh, I got this actually wound up getting it for free because I bought it as a bundle. And this is a little bit cracked and another game I bought wound up with a crack in it. So the seller was like, you know what, just keep the games. So uh, I kept them. Uh, the games do work, though, so... I paid 20 bucks for this, Revenge of the Gator and Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. So, on its own, probably not a great deal, but turned out being free after the fact, so no complaints here. On eBay, you can pick it up for about 8 bucks, which isn't that bad, but is it worth the 8 bucks? Well, let's take a look. Alright, so, Solar Striker. Oh, copyright 1989, so it's even older than I thought. This must have been one, either a launch game or in the first year, so... Hitting start... now. Uh, once again, I'm playing on my Retron 5 using a Super NES controller, so... And yeah, this and Nemesis from... Oh god, man, I'm kind of sucking right now. I've been spending so much time playing this on my Game Boy Advance that, uh... Playing this on the Retron on the big screen's a little disorienting. I always make dumb mistakes in this game, too, though, so... That when I have a dumb depth, or... depth. When I have a dumb death, that's probably just straight up my fault. <laughs> it's almost kind of reminds me of, like, uh, the Toa Plan shooters, the vertical ones, but... The fact that the screen can kind of scroll a little bit left and right with you as you go. So it kind of changes the perspective. So it's a cool touch. It's not a game-breaker, like, everything stays... Pr Ooh. Oh, God. Almost took a dumb death there. Do not need that. Oh, shit. I always take a dumb death right before the friggin' boss fights. And the power ups really help make these boss fights go quicker. It's cool seeing a little bit of color, because I'm just used to playing on my Game Boy Advance, so. Oh, See? That, like, dumb death, like I said, just there. Ugh. Crap. Not what I wanted to do. Not what I wanted to do. And I didn't pay attention there, so that was smart of me. Shit. Oof, God. <laughs> so you get an extra life every 50,000 uh, points. And right now, I'm not, I don't even know if I'm going to make it that far. So I haven't beaten this yet. Um, I've I've been practicing a little bit. Just to... Just because I suck with shmups in general. So I was hoping to be able to beat the game, know how to beat it, and give you a full let's play. But that probably won't happen. So far, the... <sighs> Close. So far, the furthest I've gotten it was a uh, level 4 boss. So... Here we go. First boss fight. I actually do like the music in this game. The first two levels have the same music. The boss fight music's the same throughout. And... yeah. This boss fight isn't the worst in the world. The bosses are actually, like, pretty decently easy until you get to, like, the level 4 boss. Then it almost becomes like a bullet hell shooter. If I make it that far... You'll see. But right now, losing two lives in the first level like I did... I don't know if I am. But if, yeah, I'm only like four minutes in. If this is a really short one, then I lose my lives. I'll just do it again. 
Try not to embarrass myself too much with this. I do like this game, though. Like, people criticize it, from what I see, for being really simple, and it is. Like, you only really get a couple power-ups. They definitely do help, though. Uh, enemies do change enough from level to level. I think it's a competent enough shooter. And I say this as a guy who doesn't really know all that much about shooters, so... But yeah, I have Nemesis, which is side-scrolling, and now this, which is vertical. I always tend to like vertical shooters more, so... This is definitely more up my alley. My god. So, yeah, I actually... I had some free time, so I decided to start to do this Let's Play. I actually didn't want to, because... Uh, Mediger is doing his live stream right now about the whole Pro Jared thing. And, I mean... Oh, fuck. Alright, so that was a dumb death. Right before, right on the cusp of a free life, too. But... What did I play for? Not even five minutes? I can't go out like that. Let's try this again. Alright. I do like the music in this game. It's pretty good. Like, you really... You can't really go wrong with Game Boy music. Like, it's just almost always good. Even like a crap game like, uh... Bart and the Beanstalk. When we reviewed that, I was like... I It only had one music track and it looped the whole time. But I just loved the track. And... Listening to it now, it's a little bit grating on the ears, I guess, the way they composed it, but... Ew! I'm getting way too PNC with this. But even then, like, it was still, like, a competent enough track. That's probably one of the highlights of the freaking game. Come on. Come on. Let's see if I can get through this level this time. Keep it on my friggin' power-ups! Oh my god. Ooh! <laughs> Jesus. Ugh. Ugh. What am I doing? <laughs> it's funny seeing the other people, like, tweet the Yokoi kids about going and buying this game. Because it's so cheap, like... You can, you can catch a store, like, selling it for... Five bucks, maybe, maybe less, if they haven't updated their prices in a while. Like this is like it's an early game. It's super common. And it's not really sought after either. So you can get it for you can get it for pretty dirt cheap. And they're going in there and just buying like a bunch of copies so they can give it to their friends to try and do their own thing with it. So Yokoi kids cornering the market on games no one cares about. And I think this was selected by the guy from Retail Archaeology, so check his channel out. It's a cool gimmick he has, like, just talking about the stores and the malls of old that, you know, malls and stores and all that shit. It's all a dying art, so, like, there's gonna be a day when no one goes to the mall. I was a, when I was a freaking teenager, like, I was one of those Hot Topic mall rats in the early 2000s. It's a little bit embarrassing now, but I had, like, the corn and the Pantera shirts and... The wallet chain that was coming down, like, past my knees. I didn't have, like, the overly big jeans or crap like that because my parents wouldn't give me money to buy those clothes. So I was rocking, like, Kmart khakis with all this shit and a uh, Hot Topic Pantera shirt. So I knew how to be cool. I obviously got laid a lot in high school. That and all the, uh, the massive never leave my house and video games that I was doing. Yeah, it worked out great. Getting to flow a little bit more. I'm gonna say that using a controller is what threw me off the first time, and it certainly wasn't incompetence. I would never say that about me. I would never speak such truths. Alright, so once you get to this point, this is basically. Oof! Oh my god. That was way too close. This is basically the maxed out version of the gun, so. Once you get to this point, you don't wanna lose that. Obviously. But. Oof. One good thing is, like, you do drop a level of uh, power when you die, but you don't... Oh, crap, crap balls. Crap, 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 crap. 
but you don't fully lose everything like you do in a lot of other shooters, which is which is nice. It keeps it a little more beatable in the overall. So, like you know, if you do lose, you're not completely friggin' screwed. Always a good idea to kill them before they can shoot at you. I am a video game strategy genius. Come on. Almost got a little too penisy there. Shit. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Ooh! <laughs> Alright, that was scary. But I did survive. Yeah, first time I ever played him when he went came all the way down on me, I was like, you mother. He surprised me with that. But with the super gun, he kind of melts away. So the first two stages, if you don't screw up like an idiot like I did my first playthrough, they're pretty beatable. There's only six stages in the game. But the later ones, man, they get they get beefy on you. It's cool to have like a cityscape to have something so different from like the normal shmup setting. Wow, this these blues and yellows are very bright on the eyes. And I don't know if it's the emulation from the Retron that's making the visuals look so choppy. Like, it could just be the smaller resolution on the Game Boy Advance screen, but it didn't look this choppy beforehand. But maybe without these overly, painfully bright colors, I wasn't noticing as much. I really do want to get as many points ooh, fuck, as I can, just for, you know, the sake of progressing and getting extra lives and being able to do this Let's Play a little bit longer. But even so, like, it's not the longest game in the world, so... <clears throat> I should be able to keep this one pretty short. Not like my friggin' Wario Land one. Holy crap, that almost came in in an hour. Now, what I was thinking with that. Oh yeah, people want to see me suck at a game that you can't die in. No, that's a good idea, Jim. You know what the YouTube community wants, that's for damn sure. Alright, another life. Sweet. I gotta survive this friggin' barrage of enemies so I don't lose a friggin'... I always stupidly lose a life, like, right before a boss fight. And that's just the worst. It's such a momentum killer. And like I said before, like, you just need to keep this super weapon going. Because it just makes life so much friggin' easier. Yeah, and once you get to the super gun, like, getting power-ups doesn't do anything outside of just giving you more points. Oh my god, it's so tough to see what's going on with all these colors on screen. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know how I got through that without screwing up. Now my Achilles heel. Stage 4. Haven't gotten past it yet. I think my high score overall so far in any of my playthroughs of this has been like 140-some thousand. So I've been on the cusp of getting another life and then, you know, screwing up, losing, dying. Sucking, you know, whatever you will. Ooh, God! I like the the new music tracks too. I forget if level three and four have the same music the way level one and two, two did. <laughs> oh no! Oh, god damn it. Oh, piss. Oh, I did not want to do that. I gotta build this back up. Alright, perfect run through. Perfect run through now. Must get power ups back before a boss. Because when I fight this boss in this level, like, my lives just friggin' melt away. Yeah, I finally. Like, you! Like, the left and the constant left and right moving is kind of a good strategy in this game. It's definitely not the worst. 
Always be shooting. Always just try and make sure shit does not start shooting at you and coming down on you. I could really use a power-up! Hey, come on, game. Oh crap, this friggin' mini-boss. Shit. See, this is the worst part of this one, is when the mini-boss... No! Fuck! No! I wanted the power up so I. God damn it! Oh! Damn it! I lost two lives so fast that I. Oh! God! I should just settle for the friggin' life I had. Oh, fuck. See, like I said, it becomes bullet hell out of nowhere. And my. I have a pea shooter now. Well, this isn't gonna last much longer. Come on, pull a miracle. Pull and <sighs> should I try it one more time? No. Nah. Uh, let's try it one more damn time, right? Why not? I feel like I screwed myself. I feel like I could have had him if I didn't just melt those two lives away like a friggin' idiot. Ah, uh, God, I'm so. I'm so mad at myself. You can hear from that scream. There was there's no bullshit around that scream. That was just a that was just a piss off Jimmy boy. Uh I will say this though, like oh man, I hate going through these earlier levels again. Like, right now, I'm just... I'm just so bored going through this level again. Fuck. Ooh. And what happens when I get bored like that is I'm gonna make... I'm gonna make a dumb mistake. I'm gonna lose a life within the first two levels, probably. Just... Just calling it right now. Calling my shot like the babe. I think it's going to happen sooner than later. Daddy's going to do something stupid. I'm just going to try and get as many friggin' points as possible, because as you see, I need them for that goddamn boss. And really hope, really hope I can keep that uh, super gun going into level 4 boss. That's the only way I'm going to beat him. And like this back and forth, it's a decent way to keep yourself alive. A life. To keep myself alive and away from like the path of these bullets. But then again, as you saw before, I can stray stupidly into enemy fire and then lose my friggin' life anyway and then want to put a bullet in my face. God. Venturing a little too far up there. Christ. Don't. Do not. How's my kid doing? Kid still asleep? Yep. Kid's on the baby monitor right now, so... She's sleeping away. That's what I should be doing. I should probably be going to bed. We're playing a Resident Evil game. Which I've been doing. I've been playing Resident Evil 6 lately, and, uh... I mean, it's okay. I, I know people crapped all over it for... It's not a typical survival horror game, obviously. And it seems... In a lot of ways, it's a step down from what Resident Evil 5 was, but... It has some charm to it. I would never sit here and say it's a great game, though. But you can find out more when we release the full video, and whenever the hell we do. I also just want to thank everyone once again for, you know, whoever checks out these videos, these Yokoi Kids ones, our normal reviews, and especially our patrons. The fact that anyone would give us money to do this crap. It's, it's very humbling. It's, it's one of those nice feelings. A lot of times it's like, yeah, we don't, we don't deserve your money. We definitely do not. Ooh, let's see. Ah, there's that dumb death. There's that. Oh Christ. There's that dumb death that I called. Hopefully that can be my only one before 
I move on. Oosh, Jesus. I'm so desperate to just get extra lives though, too. Oof, ah, speaking of... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Fuck. Ugh. I don't have a lot of confidence right now. Because I'm a dumbass and just threw lives away like that. Luckily, this isn't a bad boss. So I'm not scared of the boss in this level. So that's a plus right there. But I will say, it's definitely a little bit more distracting playing it on a big screen. Like, I'm used to concentrating on a much smaller screen so I can... Put myself into a corner there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, I mean, I did a little fancy fly in there, I guess. I don't think I'm even making it to level 3, though. This sucks. Was hoping for better for you guys. Was hoping I was going to break through that level 4 wall, but... Not liking like... Not looking like it's going to happen. I can at least get to level 3. Level 3, I should be able to beat without dying. At least... For a little bit. I should be able to get through level 3. If I die, it's because of a dumb mistake and me getting penisy, which happens a lot, as you can tell. Oh my god, I only have 67,000 points. Oh man, I'd really like to get one more life. Those uh, big laser trucks do not melt away as easily when you don't have the big gun. Oh, shit. Give me, give me. Oh, I'm not even up to the triple gun yet? No, oh, that's not good. That is not good. Yeah, see, level four with that damn mini boss, too. That's what throws you off. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. No! Oh, I wasn't lo oh, I wasn't looking. I was looking up and not to the left. Alright, before I get frustrated more, so as you can tell, I'm not very good at this game. So, what do I think of Solar Striker? It's a fun game. I'm actually having fun with it and trying to get better at it. Like, when I first started playing it, and I know it doesn't really reflect in my gameplay today, but I was barely getting past the first and second levels, so it is one that the more you play, you can see a more, not so much immediate, uh, you know, improvement, but there's definitely improvements there. It's hard to play it on the big screen. I'm so you. I guess I'm just too used to playing it on, you know, a screen this size as opposed to my 42-inch TV. So I'm going to use that as my excuse for why I've been so terrible at it. But, nah, if you see it in the wild and you can see it for five bucks or less, definitely pick it up. If you're a fan of shooters, it's worth your time. Not the most complex shooter in the world, but it's definitely fun for what it is. And it's the most I really have to say about it. Nice music. Decent for the time graphics, and pretty tight, fun gameplay. So, that'll do it for this video, guys. Let me know if you've ever played this, if there's other shooters on the system that I should look into, because I'm always up for new shmups. Uh, as always, check the link below for Yokoi Kids' page. Make sure to follow them on Twitter. There's a bunch of cool guys who run it and do the work there. And, as always, give this video a like. Leave some comments below. If you haven't yet, maybe subscribe. And as always, you can check out links to our other videos, including hardware reviews, video game reviews, and we are the home of the Power Hour podcast, which is also on iTunes. Until next time, guys. Cheers.